Hey quilters, it's Heather from Wilmington Prints. The quilt that I have for you this month is our twinkling quilt. It is an easy to make quilt and it is perfect to be the centerpiece for your dining room table. For this project you'll need one 10 karat mini gem, jewel, or crystal as well as one and two thirds yard of a background material and also for the borders. You'll also need a coordinating material for the binding and the backing and of course you'll need batting. As always, you'll want to pick up your instructions at your local quilt store when you're picking up your supplies. If your local quilt store doesn't happen to have any of these on hand, you can always check out our website where you can download and print them for free. It is www.wilmingtonprints.com and that's located on the projects page. Now that you're ready to start this project, you're going to break open your pack and you're going to start figuring out fabric placement. For this one, you're going to need four squares to be your large squares in the center here. You're going to need eight to become these star points. You're going to get eight to become these rectangular pieces along the outer edges of your block. And you're going to need four squares to become these small squares on the edges of the block. One of the great things about this project that it really does look completely different depending on what kind of pack you decide to put in it. You can do something very colorful like this where it's spring fling with a lot of different colors in it, or you can do something that's a lot more muted and more simple with this. This one is sapphire sky with a white background. Once you've got your fabric placement decided on, you're gonna go ahead and start cutting your fabric. For the four squares that you're gonna cut for the center piece, you're gonna cut them down to eight and three quarters inch square. For the eight star point triangles, you're going to cut in half both directions and then cut in half diagonally for a total of 64 triangles. For the eight squares that you're gonna cut down into rectangles, you're going to cut them into two, four and five eighths by eight and three quarter inch rectangles. You'll have a total of 16 of these when you're done cutting them. For the four small squares, you're gonna subcut each 10 inch square into four and five eighth inch squares for a total of 16 squares. From the background fabric, you're gonna cut three different shapes out. For the large triangles, what you're going to do is cut one nine and a half inch strip, subcut four nine and a half inch squares, and then cut in half diagonally twice for 16 triangles. For the smaller triangles, you're going to cut two five inch strips, subcutting at 16 five inch squares, and then cut in half diagonally for 32 triangles. For the square pieces, you're going to cut two four and five eighth inch strips subcut four and five eighth inch squares for a total of 16 squares. The rest of the fabric will be used for the borders. You need to split up your half square triangles that you made for the star point blocks into two separate piles. You'll have half of the, the colors for these half square triangles and half of them are gonna go to your flying geese blocks. So split up your half square triangles for the star point blocks into two different piles so that you can keep them straight. The first unit that you're going to start sewing together is your flying geese block. For this you're going to take two each of the star point triangles and sew them to the short edge of the nine and a half inch square that background that you had. You're going to sew them together raw, right sides together with a quarter inch seam allowance along this edge here. So you're going to sew that and then press it out and it will end up looking like this. And then you're gonna take your, your other half square triangle for this block and you're gonna sew it along this edge again. Once you're finished, it will look like this. For the half square triangle unit, you're going to take the background, a background five inch unit and a five inch star point triangle and you're gonna sew them right sides together along the long edge of the triangle. Once you're done and pressed, they're going to look like this. Now that you've gotten your, all of your units sewn for your... Now that you've sewn together all of your units, which are the flying geese and the half square triangle, you're going to lay out your quilt blocks as instructed on the quilt instructions, and your final block will end up looking like this. You're going to make four of these, add your borders, and then you're done. Make sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.